Welcome back, friends. Uh, we got uh, we got the Packers here. I'll get you situated here. I'm gonna zoom you out. We got the Packers here, and uh, just gonna clean them off a little bit, but uh, we're we're running into things now. And knock all that dust off. Hopefully you can really see that. Take those off so I can see. I haven't cleaned these up in months. Basically all summer. But we're, we're we've had these for three years now. Or just just about shy under shy there, and uh, I think we're starting to show some wear and tear, like real wear and tear. Of course, you know, there's cuts and stuff there. But what really intrigued me was uh, right in there. You you can see that, right? It's hard to see there, but get on top of it. See that wear right there? That's unusual. That's an unusual wear right there. And that's consistent work. So, I mean, it's something we're doing that I'm doing. But it's wearing odd right there. It's beveling my corner right there right off. Obviously, heels are going south. But overall, look at them things. They just look good. The tops are still... The top still got some rigidity to it. But we're just dusting these off and checking things over. I do have some sad news as far as boots go. And I should have took pictures of it, but I didn't. But my white Sawyers that I had for a year, the welt blew out in them. Right in there, just completely blew out. So I sent them in and uh, well, they were toast. So I'm getting a new pair in. And that's nice of them to do that. Uh, you know, not free, but you know, for the, for the price of the rebuild or resell, whatever, we're getting a new set. That just means we're gonna to have to break in another pair of boots. Check these out. Same wear right there. Same wear. So I guess I'm walking. I'm walking odd. I bet that's my. You know what? That that's my problem right there. That's my problem. That's why it's wearing right there, is because my, it's not that I drag my heels or anything, you know, obviously, <laughs> but my walk has uh, started wearing right there. I think we're coming close to a, a resole soon here. Got all that mud and stuff. We have just flat worn the snot out of these things this summer. But yeah, three years. Three years, I think we're getting close, guys. Close to that resole. So, anyway, yeah. I'm getting a new pair of white Sawyers because my other ones took the crap on me. I'm not necessarily, you know, gonna blame whites for that one. Uh, They were still a great boot. They were looking good. So. Look at that. Slashing the toe on that one. Getting real broke. You look at that. You can see the wave in there. I think that's just dirt. It's just dirt material in there. 
I might have to get a little scattered brush after these. All right, that looks a lot better. There was uh, probably grease or something. I don't know that's on these boots. Uh, we got her scrubbed off there for the most part from what I can see. I don't see anything. I revealed some pretty nasty cuts in there too though. Like that one. That's it's not terrible, but it's there. It looks terrible, I know. But we're gonna let these dry out before we try to oil these things back up. Knock any remaining in this. This one's not as bad. I don't know why that one was so bad. Clean that off real quick. Don't use these blue rags like this. Because they leave uh, they leave lint back on it, but it's what I got. So, tell that little blue fuzzies. You can remove it. Just run your finger over it a couple times. Well, in uh, true Oklahoma fashion, it doesn't take long for anything to dry outside in the middle of August. So we're just going to give these a quick rub down here with some of the boot grease that is also melting as we speak. Rub it down into here and make sure you guys can see it. Top so we don't need it. It's only been... And I don't care. I always treat the edges and the heel. It must be working. If these things have took the abuse that I've thrown at them, of course that was an excessive glob right there, but it'll be all right. Always get your underside right there. The most forgot part of a boot. In my opinion, I'm just gonna let that stuff sit on there. Let that dry. Not too bad for per work boots. We're still drying a little bit in here, but. I went ahead and laced her up. Look at the wear on the tongue in there. You can always tell when it's starting to need it and it's starting to get a little dry. Your kilty, uh, this kilty starts coming up. Your your false tongue starts peeling up on you. But that's crazy. Not too bad for a pair of work boots. There you have it. We're good to go. Just gotta get that lace up. But anyway, boots are fine. They're gonna need a. Uh, they're gonna need a resole soon. With all this business going down here, and you can see all the metal and the heels wore off, and I got this spot right here on the side that's shining right there where the way I walk is kind of pulling everything down, but uh, it's hot, so we're gonna go inside now. Work is done for today, it's August. It's gonna start cooling down here, folks. So we're gonna be hitting the woods pretty hard. I think with the chainsaws and stuff, we got a lot of logs to cut to get on that sawmill down there. So uh, stay tuned for that. 
Stay tuned for the new white sawyers that are coming in. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, uh, like and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. I'm going to try to start pumping out more stuff. But we're getting there. All right. That's almost out of this season. So uh, hopefully we can uh, start wearing good hats again instead of this flimsy stuff. Look at that. Anyway, sorry guys. I'm mumbling. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one.